Welcome to our live meditation today. I'm not sure if I'm live yet, so if you can see me, go ahead and make a comment down in the comments. Okay, there we go. It's finally live. Hey everyone, my name is Cami Kennedy and I am a mindset and life coach who also teaches meditation at Prima Elements. So I first want to thank Prima for allowing me to bring this to you today. And I want to just talk briefly about getting set up for a meditation. So as you can see here, I'm seated on my floor. You can also do this from a chair. You can also do this lying down. So I'm going to give you some time to get set up. Um, I'll spend a, a brief introduction, maybe about five minutes or so before we get into the meditation. The meditation will last about 20 minutes or so. So a couple of things that you can do to get ready is potentially have a journal, have a cushion to sit on. If you want any candles, I have a couple candles here behind me. I like to use candles. I like to use sage, um, things to just kind of set your intentions put around you that make you feel great and grounded so you guys can grab those things as you're coming in here and as you're coming in here just go ahead and say hello in the comments so that i know you can hear me so that i know that you're here with me so that i know all is well and right in the world so a little bit about me and a little bit about my meditation practice and how i've come to start teaching meditation I have been coaching women for the past eight years in the areas of body confidence, health and wellness, fitness, and nutrition. And in 2018, I transitioned into life coaching because I was sick and tired of hearing all the challenges with nutrition and with wellness but we weren't ever addressing some of the root causes, which were mindset, which were relationships, which were the limiting beliefs and things that were coming up in relation to health and wellness. So I started my own morning routine. I started my own meditation practice in 2016. That transitioned me into opening up into more of stepping into coaching holistically, the whole person, right? Not just the nutrition piece, not just the mindset piece, and not just the physical body, but also the spiritual being as well. And in my transformation, I've been able to become more aware, more present, I've been able to really watch myself in the moment and instead of reacting, I've been able to respond. And my meditation practice now really grounds me. So we're going to spend time doing a grounding meditation today. And it's interesting because I was never a morning person. I always had limitations in believing that I was or that I could be. And I always had those limitations around meditation and what it meant. I always thought it was hard. So if you are there with me with that, put in the comments, you know, I've never tried meditation or if you have and you have a practice, welcome as well. A lot of times I work with beginners who seem to have a lot of resistance and it feels hard. And, you know, the, the terminology of meditation is we have to completely stop our thoughts. And that's simply just, that's not true. So what the purpose of this is, is to ground ourselves, become present, and become aware. And as we do that, it's going to bring more presence, more awareness, more intentionality, and really more recognition in our lives for the things that are serving us. Because it's very easy to look at the things that aren't going well, the things that are frustrating, the things that aren't working. But as we take our attention towards those things that are working, those qualities within us that we would like to become more of and enhance, you're going to see a shift in the perception of your life, which also means your life starts to shift and change as well. So I got the idea, the inspiration for this meditation today from, I have a necklace, I'm not wearing it today, but I have a necklace that I got probably 12 years ago when I was going through a transition. I was living in California. I wasn't sure, oh, was I gonna move? Was I going to get this job? Was I going to stay with this person I was dating? So many questions, so many uncertainties. And I think in a time like this, 
we can feel that state of uncertainty all around us. So I had this necklace that says, it's a, it's a tree and it has a layer and underneath that layer of the tree, it says the strength of a tree lies in its ability to bend. So we're going to spend time flexing and bending and really becoming aware of our own innate flexibility and how there is strength in the flexibility. So I am going to show you where I get my music. There is an app called Insight Timer. It's a free app. So I'm going to use Insight Timer. You can also follow me on there. I have a few guided meditations on there. I'm going to go into the timer and I'm going to choose a sound. And I'm going to go with the harp today. I'm going to go with Celtic Harmony for the harp. I'm going to start playing that. If you are watching live, go ahead and comment in the comments if you can hear the music, because I don't want the music to overpower my voice, but you should be able to hear it. Okay. Getting settled in, getting comfortable. You can put your feet on a cushion or you can put your feet flat on the ground to make any adjustments that you need to make. We're just going to start by lengthening up the spine. And you can gently close the eyes if you'd like, or you can soften your gaze. We're just going to start to become aware of the breath. noticing the way the air comes in through the nostrils. Noticing the way the chest rises, the belly fills. Noticing the subtle movement in the body with the breath. Bring your awareness into your posture now and just ensure that your spine is lengthened. Calling on that support and that stability within the spine. You can turn your palms upward today. We're gonna to do a practice where we have our palms upward we really tap into this concept of the tree, this concept of receiving, and also this concept of grounding, being present and being secure. So in this moment, you can bring to mind anything that may be distracting you, anything that may be on your mind, any anxieties, any to-do lists. Sometimes we feel like we have so much to do. We can never get it all done. Sometimes we feel like we don't know what to do first. There may be some anxiety around that. So we're gonna bring some intentional focus and awareness today. If there's anything that you would like to create in this time, we are coming into the season of a full moon, or I'm sorry, of a new moon. New moon is that time of creation and tension setting. It's just keeping that in mind. I'm gonna start by just feeling into the face. Actually imagine here that the sun is shining on the face, warming it up. Just a gentle warmth, feeling it through the forehead, softening the eyes, feeling that gentle sunlight and warmth on the face and the cheeks. And having a gentle smile around the mouth. Relaxing the jaw. Feeling the sun on the ears. 
allowing that sun to just pour over the front and the back of the body. Feeling it through the collarbones, shoulders, a subtle warmth through the arms. Palms are facing upward. Feeling that warmth coming down through the lower arms. Coming into the palms. Feeling the warmth of the sun on the open palms, receiving that light, basking in the light. Feeling it in through the legs, allowing that sun to just melt the body, relaxing into the warmth. Envisioning now with a tall spine, feeling the warmth of the sun that is unending and everlasting. Noticing here in this moment that we don't need to do anything for the sun to shine upon us. We don't need to earn the sun's warmth. It's available to us every day during those daylight hours when we decide to step into the presence of the sun. Noticing here, just like a tree with its branches extended, those palms are facing upward. Just like the leaves of the tree, your hands and fingertips are stretched out. Receiving the light and the warmth of the sun. Receiving the abundance. Receiving energy, vitality, warmth. Actually imagine feeling that warmth in the palms of the hand. Thinking about the abundance that flows from the sun. Also thinking about what abundance you currently possess in your own life. Whether that's a family or friendships, whether that's the love and support of another, whether it's health, vitality, a bed to sleep in, Noticing that when we focus upon our abundance, we increase it and multiply it. It feels like more. We feel gratitude for the abundance that shows up in our life. Breathing into Calling to your attention something in your mind that you feel grateful for. A house, a roof over your head, children or family, friends or neighbors. Maybe it's the ability to practice a hobby Spend time outdoors, gardening. Spend time creating art, music. Feeling gratitude for our pets that bring us joy. And allowing the abundance to flow. Settling within the area of the heart. Feeling love for the things that we do have. 
and knowing that we do have an abundance. Right now in this moment, we have the ability to sit, to go within, in the safety of our homes. Filling yourself up with that feeling of abundance and gratitude and warmth. And although sometimes things may look scary, though sometimes there may be challenging circumstances, we have our health, we have relationships, we have the ability to give back, have a roof over our heads. Breathing it in. And exhaling out. As you exhale, turn the palms downward. Grounding yourself into the thighs. Lengthening up that spine again, imagining that your spine is a solid tree trunk. Noticing through that tree trunk, if there's any areas of tightness, any areas of inflexibility. If you want to actually move with the breath, you can move the tree trunk around, inhaling on the way forward. Exhaling on the way back. In this way, we're practicing that flexibility in the spine. Although that spine is meant to be stable and provide structural support, it also is fluid. Switch directions. And its fluidity, its ability to bend and flex and stay mobile allows us to move around and reset that spine, relax those shoulders. Breathe into any areas of tightness in the back, the shoulders, the low back. Bring that support, the midsection of the low back of the trunk. And as you imagine the spine, imagine there's a trunk of a tree coming down the spine, grounding you into the earth as if your spine was actually a trunk, as if it became bigger and larger and thicker to really ground you into the earth. Imagining that trunk going down developing root systems as your fingertips are facing downward. Imagining those roots going down through the floor, down through the earth. Solid foundation, digging deep into the soil, picking up nutrients along the way. Grounding down our truth what it is that we believe. Breathing through. Imagining those roots going deeper and deeper and deeper. As we follow those roots down into the earth, we become deeper and deeper and deeper. We're more aware of the physicality of our bodies, the heaviness, the denseness, being grounded and pulled down deep into the earth, feeling strongly supported through that tree trunk, feeling intricately connected to the nutrients, the source of vitality that we need in the soils, Feeling interconnected with each other, with other trees. 
Noticing here the solid structural foundation we have. Bringing awareness right down into our tailbone. Noticing here how solid we feel. Notice how supported we feel in this moment. Start to imagine and envision one way in which you feel supported during this time. Whether that's friends or neighbors, close family, distant connections, support of a group of people, support of your faith or your community, feeling gratitude now for those connections that we have, those root systems, digging down deep, allowing us to have that firm foundation. As we're here, we'll recognize the strength in numbers having an intricate root system interwoven, different sizes, different lengths, different ages. The roots are all different. They all have the ability to give back nutrients, to enrich our lives. In this way, thinking about the connections that we have, are there any that we'd like to reconnect, reach out again and offer some stability, some support? Reflecting here and breathing in the strength of the tree and the trunk. The foundation and the root system. Breathing in the reminder that we are strong. We are stronger when we are supported. Having gratitude for supporting yourself during this time and allowing others, that root system, those connections to support you. Breathing in strength, exhaling out in flexibility. Breathing in strength. Exhaling out any fear, doubt, or insecurity. In this next breath, allow your shoulders to come up and roll them down and back. Relax the hands. Now the hands come to the side. Relaxing the palms. Palms are facing upward. I'm going to practice this ability to be flexible in this time, transitioning that strength into our flexibility. So this time, if it feels comfortable for you, you can twist to the side, taking a few breaths just to notice, have I been flexible in my body? Notice that when I don't practice flexibility in my body or my mind, that it feels hard and rigid. That's okay. We're practicing it today. Go ahead and walk it over to the other side, twisting. And allowing some warmth to come into the spine. or allowing some awareness to come into that body. Making any adjustments you need to as we roll the shoulders back. Start to become aware of where it is we need to be more flexible. 
Relaxing those hands down to the sides, palms open. Imagine now that you are that tree with that root system, that strong trunk, the sun shining down upon you. And as your arms are to your sides, as are your branches, they're flopped down, they're relaxed, palms are up, they're exposed. And a wind comes, and a wind comes. And as the wind blows through, if you're rigid and too strong and inflexible, then the trunk of the tree crackles, it breaks, it falls over, the tree goes down. I want you to imagine now bringing some flexibility to the spine as the wind blows through, as the storm comes. You allow the body to bend, you allow the mind to shift into new ideas, new opportunities, new mindsets. And imagine here, the abundance of the sun is still all over the face and body, feeling the sun and the warmth, feeling the structural support and integrity of the trunk and the root system. Yet the wind comes and blows the leaves around. The wind might feel violent, it might feel challenging, it might feel scary. But you know your life as this tree has everything it needs. The nutrients from the soil, the structure of the trunk, the energy coming in through the sun, and that this storm shall pass, these winds will come through, but tomorrow the sun will come out again. It will continue to shine. The soil will continue to give nutrients. The roots will continue to give support. And the strength of the trunk lies in its ability to shift and flow and bend without breaking. So in this time, you can ask yourself, where can I practice more flexibility? My schedule with my kids. Maybe it's flexibility to add in some mindfulness. Maybe it's flexibility to practice faith in a time that seems like a storm. Bringing your hands up to the heart center, pressing those palms together. Setting your intention here of exploring more flexibility, finding more peace, allowing more abundance to flow, recognizing the support that we have all around us and having gratitude for the abundance for what is there breathing in clean air having our health families support loved ones breathing in that peace trust faith and exhaling out the feeling of fear, doubt, and uncertainty. In this moment, breathing in peace and presence, exhaling out that fear of the storm, and allowing yourself to practice presence even when the wind is blowing. Whenever you're ready, gently open the eyes, start to wiggle the fingers and toes, release those hands. <sighs> so if you're watching with me live, thank you for being here. If you are catching the replay, thank you as well. This is your first time meditating. I'd love for you to just make a comment, say how it was for you. 
And then additionally, please share this with family, friends, uh, with anybody that you could think could really use the structure and support of practicing some mindfulness, some presence from a time that might feel scary, from a time that might feel uncertain. Um, this mindfulness practice is really going to support groundedness, presence, peace, and cultivating that sense of abundance, support, connectedness that we all are supporting one another. And maybe even continue to think on how you can support someone by an encouraging word, by sharing this with them, sharing another free resource out there. There's a lot of great things out there. And I invite you as well to connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. It's at Cami Kennedy. Again, I'm a mindset and life coach. I support high achievers and having breakthroughs in health, wealth, and abundance. Thank you for sitting with me today and I will see you next week.